What's up, it's your boy JT. I to make back with another video. I'm here with Mr. Mike Sneed of Appliance Bootcamp, Old Fashioned Ice Cream. We're here at his storefront at his brick and mortar location here in Selma, North Carolina. What we're going to talk about is how you can get into this business and make $750 in two hours or less. Damn! All of that and more right after the intro. So first and foremost, Mike, just so the people can hear it from a practitioner, because I pride myself in being a practitioner that brings you practitioners. What's the most money you made in a day just off of this cart set up that's behind us? Uh, the most I've made is about is between seven and eight hundred dollars. I forget the exact figure. Uh, uh, we went out to uh, a fireworks a community. You know how they had a Fourth of July fireworks celebration? Mm -hmm. We took it out there at the fireworks celebration and made somewhere between seven to eight hundred dollars. All right. What would you say is an average day? Because that was like, you know, the most you made. What would you say is like the average day for this cart when it goes out? With us now, the carts are already prepaid before they go. Okay. But if you're somebody who's just going to pull it out to barber shops and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you can easily make $500 or more with that Man. cart. Easy. Because it don't take 100 sales. Yeah. And when you're selling ice cream, you don't get no one $5. dollars you are going to get the, the mom with three kids. You're going to get four four people. They're just uh, you just gonna have people constantly turning. I say you're gonna be turning um, fives into twenties. They're gonna coming up and they're gonna give you a twenty. You gonna, you gonna, uh, you gonna give them five dollars back. Yeah. They're gonna give you uh, they give you a twenty. You gonna give them ten dollars back. You constantly gonna be getting those twenties. All right. For for somebody that's brand new and they're interested in getting into this, and we're super repetitive because we never know which one of these videos you saw in what order. This setup behind us can be made for as little as five hundred dollars, and now you have a business that can go out and make you $500 your first day out. But for anybody that is brand new, what kind of person would you say this is for? Like, because Mike's background is, is in engineering and he built it himself, but what if I dropped out of high school or not a college person? Like, do you think anybody can do this kind of business? Uh, yeah, yeah, anybody can do it. Uh, all it is, it's not that hard. Just uh, take one scoop of ice cream, put it in a cup, and ask for $5. <laughs> and the reason I say $5 Believe me, it's funny if I say the reason I said five dollars, I found out the kids can't count. And uh, if you start adding change, uh, uh, they got to do six. I don't, I don't charge no tax or anything because mm -hmm. you start putting taxes, the kids can get right the right change. Uh, so I just say five dollars, everybody can count by five, yeah. and it made it easy for getting change. So when you're going out, instead of having to get a lot of ones and stuff like that, just mm -hmm. get you uh, get you ninety dollars worth of fives or a hundred dollars worth of fives, and then um, just use that as your change. You start your Okay. All right. In the previous video, we talked about how you're retired now. Mm -hmm. This business is a part of your retirement income, and that's important because a lot of you all out there. Do you mind telling them your age or you don't? No, want to I'm tell fifty. Them? I'm fifty. All right. all right. So that's young, right? That's the the age. You know, hopefully by the grace of God, I can see fifty and retire as well too. Because that's my retirement age. But when people start talking about retirement, they get real serious. Like, hey, this is my money that gotta last me till I die, and you and trust a lot of that in high school kids. Uh -huh. So why are you not worried that they'll give away ice cream and you lose money, they'll steal some of the money, all of these concerns that new entrepreneurs have, uh -huh. why don't you have any of those? For one, if we make so much ice cream, uh, they, 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 no, I, I don't worry <laughs> about them giving it away, we just make so much of it. And you believe it or not, those high school kids, they are very responsible, mm -hmm. and they, they actually love working here. Um, if, uh, if somebody's doing something they ain't supposed to do, somebody's gonna let me know uh, mm -hmm. that they're not gonna do. Plus, you have POS systems. So I know how much cash is gonna be in the cash register. I know how much ice cream that we have here. I, uh, but I know from how much ice cream is leaving out, how much we should be bringing in. So you start to know all that, and you, stuff, you can start seeing stuff match up. We also, um, I also can look at the actual previous sales. So if I know if we're gonna have, like we do like rocking on Rayford. So I know every time on rocking on Rayford, we have, I can 
can look at the crowds of people that's out there mm -hmm. and I can tell about how much sales I'm going to have. Mm -hmm. If the sales are totally off, then I need to go see what uh, what happens while the sales are totally off. Oh, yeah. There's oh, no dropping a gallon of ice cream or saying, mm -hmm. oh, I dropped a gallon of ice cream and that's where the money went. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. they, they, they not that. So you, 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 you can, you'll know where, where it's at. Same thing, if they're going out to an event, I know how much ice cream I put on the trailer. Mm -hmm. And when they come back, I can see how much ice cream is left. I know about how much money is supposed to be there. Okay. And the kids, the, the, the kids, not believe it or not, those kids are, are very. Uh, it's crazy. You see kids come in very shy, afraid to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And after a year or two of working with you, uh, they become little leaders and they actually run the little crew. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna make sure things are, are great. All right. Even to who I hire. Sometimes when people come in looking for a job, mm -hmm. when they leave, they will tell me, "Mr. Sneed, you might not want to do that." I'm like, "He's a nice guy." No, he goes to school with me. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I love All right. And you hire the people, right? Let's mm -hmm. highlight that as well. So if you know some kids that you don't trust to rake your yard, then mm -hmm. don't trust them to run yeah. your ice cream yeah. shop yeah. either, right? So we said previously, it's nothing to make, or you said previously, it's nothing to have like a hundred transactions in a day. Yeah, yeah. That's and, and I think that's, that's mind blowing to a lot of people because a lot of people, when they think about, I want to get into business, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to make shirts. I'm going to mm -hmm. go to barber school, cut mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. And in those sorts of businesses, cutting a hundred heads in a day is like impossible. Correct. Selling a hundred shirts, unless you Nike or a huge manufacturer with a brand, mm -hmm. is impossible, right? But uh, apparently, high volume is something that's realistic to expect in the ice cream business. Hold on, wait. Are you somebody on the internet right now that's looking for a proven way to grow your personal wealth, create generational wealth, work smarter, not harder, and just take advantage? of what life truly is having the freedom to do whatever it is that you want without working a job just to pay the bills. Well, guess what? Recently, I was exactly where you were. I was watching a ton of YouTube videos, buying courses, listening to podcasts, you name it, and compiling information. And through trial and error, I finally figured out how do you create a business that can make six figures or more per year that has no products or services. Honestly, I did it because I didn't want the headache of having to deal with products or services. If you're somebody that wants to do it with products or services, by all means, you can 100% do it. But for those of you that are watching this and that sounds interesting to you, I've written a book that will teach you the strategy currently doing. This is not theory. This is what I do every single day. I have several businesses that yield me multiple six figures every single year without any products or services. And I want to pass it along to you if you're interested in learning how I do it. It, click the link down in the description below. A hundred is very low. <laughs> oh, is that a hundred uh, scoops of ice cream in a day? Yeah, a hundred. So a hundred sales is very, very, very low. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's bottom low. That's because we're in a town that's actually just starting to grow. But most people, believe it or not, most people they doing maybe three, four hundred sales per day. And most ice cream parlors. Okay. We're we're in a we're in a city that's that uh, nobody's here. <laughs> and so a hundred a hundred sales. It's very, very low. How much do you think like Donald's and Wendy's? Oh, yeah. How many people are coming through there? But they a big brand, though. So, like, they're, they're saying their small little business uh -huh. can, can do 100 transactions? Oh, good Lord, yeah. The smaller business. It's not so much about being a big brand. Mm -hmm. A lot of it has to deal with uh, the actual traffic coming through. Okay. Now, if they hadn't cut off 301 and put it on the other side and people still had to come downtown, mm -hmm. I could easily turn four or 500 uh, call, uh, sales through here because a lot more people see it. The reason I was able to get the 100 sales and stuff because I have my, my truck billboard out there on 301 pointed here. Mm -hmm. It's important pulling people off and then you have to do a lot of Facebook marketing and stuff and Instagram bringing people in. Mm -hmm. But uh, How much you spending on ads for anybody out there that wants I, I ain't spending nothing on ads. Also just organic yeah, marketing. Just on, organic marketing where people are following our Facebook page and if I make new flavors of ice cream I just put it out there. Here go our new flavor or or just, just run any ad and then, then they'll come. Mm -hmm. um, we have people as far as Durham that come out here and stuff. And then you start to do events. Like I say, we do the we do the ice cream challenges. We do open mics. We do all these events and, uh, and 
and somebody might not know us, but their friend is here, and their friend tags us, tags them, you know, post the event they see it. They where that's at? Oh, that's down in Selma, North Carolina. A black guy on that? Yeah, we going. You know, so they they coming. The same thing. Uh, I tell everybody, you know, uh, uh, it's hard to beat a, a good good cup of a good cup of homemade ice cream is like a good hot dog. Mm -hmm. It's hard to beat it. And somebody say they make homemade ice cream. Yeah, they make everything right down there at the store. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm gonna go try that. They they're gonna come out and try it. And and um, it's like a, a good steak. If you uh, we don't have a lot of toppings and we don't do all that what I call fancy milkshakes and stuff where they have donut and a pork chop and all that stuff. <laughs> we just have a, a simple ice cream that's on taste and that's what people want. They uh, they just want a good simple ice cream and they'll drive to come get it. All right. And I don't know if you did the event yet or if you're planning the event, but you were saying like how they could do similar to a painting sip since they do have alcohol infused ice cream and that might not be the right word mm -hmm. that you can host events here yeah, like that. Yeah, we've we done that. We do what we call a wine walk uh, where the town, uh, you can get a, you can, if you somebody in a small town and you're trying to get people to come back, come to it, just go to a winery. Just go to any winery and ask them if they'd be willing to do a wine walk in, in the town. And what you do, all the different businesses, the winery uh, go and set up different wines in the different buildings mm -hmm. and, and they'll tell everybody, you come downtown this Friday night, you pay $30, you get a wrist grab van, and you just walk into all the stores and sample their different wines. Mm -hmm. And it gives people time to come in and actually uh, see what you have to offer. Okay. And at that same time, we had artists in here painting. And what we done, we just took their wine instead of them drinking the wine, we made a uh, sorbet ice cream out of it. So they come here and they eat that sorbet ice cream. Man, this is really good. Mm -hmm. And then they come back and they see all the other flavors and get ice cream and stuff too. All right. Last question I have for you. If you guys want to learn this business from start to finish, links are already down in the description below and you can check it out. Appliance Boot Camp is the name of the school, but he teaches way more than just appliances. It's blenders. It's the ice cream business. It's garage doors. So you guys will see that there's options there, but one of the options is learning this business from start to finish and for your convenience is already linked down in the description below. If, let's say, either a high school kid or an adult watching this, but uh, for whatever reason, they don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They got $3,000 or less. You can watch my free videos and make way more than $3,000. Oh. So that's how you can get the money uh, if you don't have that already. But um, $3,000 or less, mm -hmm. they say, okay, I got enough money to build one of these setups for $500. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sneed, what should I be looking for if I'm looking for a location for me to set up where I probably can make some money? So, and I ask that for their benefit before you answer because you are expanding now. He is opening another location using a container. It's on his YouTube channel, Appliance Bootcamp, which is also linked down in the description below. But what do you kind of look for to say, okay, this might be a good area I can make me some money? Uh, what I would do, um, like I say, if you, if you got the limited funds like that, don't worry about building no cart. Just go buy you the just go buy you the freezer, and buy you a table, and buy you a, a tent. You're gonna have to have water there. Uh, you're gonna have to have, just get three pans of water, just plastic pans of water. So you gotta have one for what they say for rinse, one for sanitize, and one for wash. And just have that sitting on a table behind you in case uh, in case uh, the, the the people come and say, hey, how you cleaning utensils? Uh, but just set up and what you want to do just um, every community right now have them uh, just call downtown to your community you can't come to the local farmers market <laughs> just, just go set up at the farmers market that Saturday morning and you can go set out there uh, and you get out there and they charge you no money just go set up and just say hey I want to go to the farmers market and you set up with your ice cream and you just scoop ice cream and sell it right. um, if you don't if you're in a community uh, say like you in um, if, uh, if you in the, uh, I hate to say, but if you in the hood, there ain't, ain't many farmer's markets in the hood. <laughs> if you in the hood, the guy who cuts your hair at the barber shop, you, you giving him money every other week to cut your hair and stuff, just say, hey man, I, can I come out to the barber shop and just sit out front and just sell some ice cream? And you, you can do that. So I'll uh, sell at the uh, barbershop. You're going out here doing all this stuff with uh, AAU and basketball and all that stuff. Uh, same thing. Just uh, set up right out there. Um, you 
you don't even have to sit up in front of the door. You just sit up right there on, in the parking lot and, 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 and sell your ice cream um, right there in the parking lot, scooping the cell. All right. And I said that was my last question, but I lied. I apologize. Because no, no, you saying that made me think of this question. So uh, they're brand new. Uh -huh. They they learned the business from you, right? He has a full training. Uh -huh. They built the car. They're going to this location. Um, they can only have so many flavors uh -huh. because uh, what you guys can't see off cameras, Mike has like an infinite number of flavors he can make uh, in his parlor. But if I had a cart, I can only fit, you know, a few flavors. What flavors would you say would be your money flavors? It's going to depend on who's going to be there. Uh -huh. But if you uh, were going to the barbershop. If I'm going to the barbershop, you're going to have to have a strawberry. You, uh, if you're going to a black barbershop, you better have some butter pecan or else they're going <laughs> to cut you. Uh, you have a butter pecan. And you'll get cookies and cream or Oreos, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then if um, it depends. I usually just try to take three flavors in there. Uh, but if you wanted to take a fourth flavor, I would then get something uh, that's kind of like a little specialty flavor, like a peach cobbler, blackberry cobbler, something like that where they just don't get every day that I, I throw in there. All right. Mike teaches you how to make the ice cream, how to do the business. He'll sell you at wholesale price the ice cream so you can run the business that way if you don't have the time or the equipment to make it yourself, tap in with the Plans Boot Camp, learn how to start this business and retire young, just like Mike did, right? Till next time, I'm hustling, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.